and this is my student. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Very good. And then have this side. Say good morning. Good morning. Very good. I want this video not only mine, it's us. Okay. So when I hopefully in the class you have a you know more response. So I try when I call you, actually I, I put down the the table chart. I try to see if I can quickly remember who you are. Okay. So um how's your break? You miss me? <laughs> yeah. Of course, brace good because you can have time for yourself, right? Okay, so, uh, but everybody still remember before break, who are we talking about? Who is a person? Actually, all of oh, you did a very good job for that PowerPoint. You know, I enjoy because it's, even I kind of know these people, but it's good to see how do you see them? How do you tell me their story? So who is a person before Skinner? You know it. I know you know it. Start with P. Over there. Pavlo. Pavlo, right? And Pavlo talk about what kind of condition? Classical condition. And what classical condition about? What's classical condition? Hello, good morning. What's your name? Kino. Oh, Kino, okay. Oh, let me go. Remember what, what Pablo said about learning? What did he say about learning? What do you say about learning? Remember C S U S C R U R. Remember it. What's what what's U S? Us? What? Yes. Unconditional stimulus, right? That's U S, right? And then so in in Pavlov's mind, if you want to, you want to learn about something, right? You appear something you have no idea, right? Plus something you already know, right? And then you respond CR, right? CR is you don't need to learn to respond, right? And then hopefully, hopefully. Eventually become what? CS become CR. Right? So right now, a lot of us, you and me, we're still in this stage. You know, I know I know your face, but I try, try to remember your name. So your face kind of US, I know how to respond with, to your face. But your name for me is CS. Right? So then hopefully more you come with your name, the more I call your name with your, with your face and name, face and name, then eventually when I see your name, I, your face already come up. Do you know how good for that? The end of semester, if you are between A and B, if you are between B and C, between C and D, especially between D and F, if I remember your face, and I remember how good you in the class, then I'll, I'll struggle more. I'll struggle more. I say, oh, I remember the student. I remember her or his response. I remember how, they, how he or she do in the class. Then they will give me a little bit, you know, energy to say, oh, yeah, oh, maybe I should push you up. Of course, not adding your point, but then if you are so borderline, right? Or I say, oh, I don't know this. Hmm. And but the problem is, if I remember you, 
then I'm more likely to have a heart broken. You know, so that's a good thing, right? You want teacher you feel, feel about you, right? So that's, that's um, Pavlov said. Now, Skinner is another person. Skinner is another person. He didn't say anything about CSUS, but he still talk about learning, right? Remember we say for this chapter, we talk about C and S. No, what, what's C and S? Somebody tell me I'm wrong. This is wrong. I suppose say what? S and R, right? Right? Our, this chapter, the goal for this chapter is how S can produce R. How S can produce R, right? When you walk on the campus, how many of you actually are brand new student? Is this your first semester? Okay. How many of you already now walk on the campus, you will see people say hi to you? Right? Right? So, uh, it feel good? Feel good? You, you feel home. You feel home when people say hi to you. Right? I always feel like, you know, I'm from Taiwan. So, when I get to Taiwan, I expect people say hi to me, right? Like my family. Then when I come back to America, I, if I see people say hi to me, I say, wow, I'm home and I'm home, right? So it's, it's important to connect, make connection, okay? So how do we make connection? Classical conditions say you need to have US. But then Skinner say what? Is anybody? Any keywords you find from here? You find from here actually is a keyword. It's a keyword to make S and R can be together. Consequences? Huh? Consequences? Yes! Yes! How do you know? Skinner is all about consequence. Okay, so S and R original, if you are go to the new place, those S, those stimulus is nothing to do with your response. Okay, so it really depends on the consequence. <coughs> consequence. Consequence can have what and what? Good and bad. Good and bad. Good and bad. Okay, anybody have any good consequence recently? You raise your hand and I can push the button to face to you. Anybody any good consequence? During this weekend, last weekend, couple days, you 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 do something. Okay. What 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 did you do? What did you get? So, so if you like actually did what you're supposed to do, you had like the good consequences of like getting off on class. So you want to go to class. Yeah. So you don't need to do extra assignment. Yeah. So that's a good consequence, right? If you go to a class. But then if you don't go, then kind of punishment. Then you need to do something, right? Wow, well, that's a good example. Anybody? 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 Okay. Now you need a you need to pretend think about this is not class. This is uh, some kind of show. Okay. <laughs> when you go to the show, you want to, oh, right, participant, right? Okay. I always feel sometimes we feel go to class is so boring, right? I need to go to the class. But think about if you go to the concert, you, you, you also sit there, right? You also sit there, or you go to a church, right? I went to a church, it's so alive, like everybody there, hey, right? So when I come to a class, teach, I don't want to think I'm just coming here to teach. I'm thinking about I'm here running the workshop. I'm here to run in the show, okay? So if I'm running the show, then you, you have to be dancing with me, okay? I want you dancing with me. So then our one hour, 15 minutes is fine. Not here, just, uh, uh, 
Okay, so, but it's, it's actually determined by yourself, right? Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, let, me, let me remind myself. Uh, you are jealous. Yes, okay. See, now you are under my control <laughs> because I really want to know you. Okay, so consequence. Okay, so now, anybody, I'm going to show you this. Okay, this is his uh, famous box. This is famous box called Skinner box. And hopefully in the future you have some kind of like, you know, uh, your own box, right? Okay, so what's this? This is his research. And this uh, box, he from here, he come out the idea about operant condition. Okay, can somebody want to tell me about this box? If you will, I, do you want to come here? And you can show us, and so you can be in the video. Come here. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh. Come here. Come here, I give you my stage. Okay, you are uh, heaven. Heaven, stage is yours. Then we can keep this. <laughs> Okay. okay. Explain to us about the facts. I only know this because I did my project on it. Okay. But basically, um, he had a box either with mice or um, I think the bird. It wasn't a pair. It was it was a bird, but a mouse and a bird. But basically, he was trying to um, figure out like their interactions with like food. And I know with the bird, they'll like peck at a disc every time they're ready to be fed, and like. The same as the mouse. Basically, they're just trying to see how they react in their envi in different environments with so so much as animals. So, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And you know, also through this kind of video, people can see how we learn with a mask, and then they can also see we we also can interact. Thank you, Heaven. So, think about you come to this classroom, okay? And you have no idea about what's going on. But you need, it, you need to find a switch. You need to find a switch for this light. And you have no idea, you know, like, who is the switch, right? And then you push, like, sometimes this kind of ball, they have so many stuff, I have no idea. But then once I push a button, and good consequence for this mouse will be what? Food, right? Push the button, and the food pop out, okay? And this actually is kind of try and error, right? And what happened after this? Next time when you put this mice in, do you, do it, how much time you need to try? Don't need to try, just go and push. Right? How many of you remember when you were very, very little and the first time you put a coin into the puffer machine and you push the button and the surprise comes out? And then what happened after that? You want them. You want them all the time, right? You remember you go there, you push the button, you get something you want. And this for Skinner is called good consequence. Right? Good consequence. Then when you're good consequence, you you won't continue. Okay, so be very careful. If you don't want people keep back, keep come to you, don't give a good consequence. Right? Sometimes we just like so nice, so nice, right? Or you, 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 you are chasing a girl and you really want girl in give, impressed, so you give them flower. Okay, they are so impressed the first time for flower, how about second time, how about third time, how about fourth time? Right. Or when, friend call, when somebody call you, you don't, want, you don't have time to talk. Then don't keep saying, oh yeah, exciting. You have homework due tomorrow and you have to do work. So you know you don't have time, so don't give them good consequence. You, you need a, uh, mm, uh, and they say, oh, you're busy, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, right? So that's important. Once you know this, I'm not saying you have to manipulate people, <coughs> but at least you can know how to handle your life in a better way, right? Okay, so this sounds familiar, right? The dog, right? But different from Classical is what? You don't see C-S-U-S there, right? You see 
the the consequence, right? So if dog is doing this, right, doing it intentionally, intentionally, right? And then, ooh, got a a poor shot or the stick. Of course, next time, right? Next time he, he wants to do this. Hopefully, good consequence coming. But the same dog or different dog do the same thing, and then you say no. Then what? No longer do that. So see, you can raise people. You can we destroy people. You can raise your pet. You can destroy your pet, right? And so sometimes life is so easy to handle, but for some reason we make it so hard. We, of course, you can say because we have thinking. Be, behaviorism, actually they don't think about thinking. They don't know thinking. They think if I do this, they will do this. Okay, well, it's good to have a good principle. So I think this is a very good principle, right? And at least I believe still a lot of us still buy in for this. You can try for a stranger or a student, you have no idea who they are, but then start to try every time you see a student, say hi, say hi, and say hi. Sooner or later, that student will start to say hi to you. you know, so how do you make friends? start to say hi, right? Okay, now, so when we say good consequence, Jalen say good consequence. Good consequence, they have the word called reinforcement. Reinforcement. Now, what's the word for bad consequence? Start with P. Punishment. Punishment. Punishment, okay. And the difference is reinforcement, you want the response to increase. You want response to increase. That's called reinforcement. Okay, and so for the and that's the punishment. Okay. How 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 long you didn't get punishment? Right now you will go, you will, uh, you will grow up, right? And so maybe you get more reinforcement than punishment. But sometimes you get punishment because you are speedy. The police give you a ticket. Right. So right now I remind myself, am I driving? The only the at least one thing I don't want to get is ticket. Right. I can have a come here to work so so hard, so hard and so enjoy. But then on my way home I get a ticket because I want to get home soon. Then that ticket maybe cost the whole day of my working. So not worth it, right? So I would would not rather drive slow. But because I drive slow, actually I just follow speed limit. But like this morning, I think they have a three or four cars pass by me. They think you are this old lady. You drive too slow. Shoo 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 shoo. My thinking is I don't mind. You can shoo 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 me, and police maybe after you, not after me, right? So we don't want to get punishment from police. But the reason police give us a ticket, why? Because they hate you. No, why? What's, what's the purpose for that? Yeah, they want to keep us safety, right? They don't want us to what? To drive too, too fast and got car accident, right? Okay, so now, when we say either reinforcement or punishment, they are primary and secondary. Okay, so primary and secondary, the difference for this this you don't need to learn, just like U.S. You don't need to learn to know that's a good consequence. Right? I give you chocolate. I smile at you. And you don't need to learn. Right? This one you need to learn. This one you need to learn is not... Oh, think about the little, little kids. I don't know. I remember when my kids in preschool, before I pick them up, I saw them line up and get a lollipop because they are they have good behavior, right? Now, do I need when you finish class? Do I need to wait? Have you line up and give it a lollipop? I can't. 
can, but I don't have to. I can do is say good job. When I say good job, I believe you walk out happy. And that's secondary. Praise. Praise. That's secondary. Right? So secondary is you learn to know that it's a good one. Okay, now let me ask you about money. Is money primary or secondary? Money. Secondary. Secondary, why? Okay, just hold down so I can I can put this camera on here. Okay. Okay. Jordan, what do you say? Um, it's secondary because it's something that can be gained through like uh, an association with like other people who reinforce that. Yeah, they learn it, right? Anybody want to since my camera already this side, anybody want to say something? about primary and secondary. Give me an example, primary and secondary. Mm. Okay. Uh, so this is Jalen here, and then you are Jalen, Jordan, Jalen, right? You're Jalen, right? Okay, can you give us an example? Can you give us an example? Primary and secondary? Oh, anybody? He's thinking. Anybody in this side? Kellen? Kellen? Any example here? Uh, mm hmm. And secondary. Hmm? Water. 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 Is water primary or secondary? Is water primary or secondary? She said primary. Huh? Because we need that for our body. Right? That, that's very good. No, I never heard people give me example about water. Yeah. Water is so important, right? How many of you don't like water? Wow. You guys are very really good. Huh? I something else, but I Oh, you would rather, what's the inside your cup? Water. Water? <laughs> but if you have a choice, you can put something there? Yeah. Like what? I don't know, like soda. Soda, okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the reason I started drinking water is when I came to America, <laughs> I realize you go to fast food store, you, you say water is free. You know, so then I was my kid and we order for a hamburger, right? And then if I give everybody a drink, that'll be too expensive, right? When I as a student in America. So I said, water, water, okay, it's free, right? But it's not always like this in different countries, okay? Not in, like this in different countries, so don't assume this country spoil us, right? So, but actually, turn out water is the best, right? Good for our body. Okay, so Kellen said water is primary. And then we all, based on our body needs, it's water primary. But you say you, you would rather choose something else. And then something else actually is secondary, right? Because you didn't know have such thing called Coca Cola or Sprite until your parents gave to you. And then once they give to you, you say, oh my gosh, that's heaven. <laughs> that's heaven, right? They say the sugar is like this. They, 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 they make your body want more, want more sugar. But please, stop. Okay, don't eat too much sugar. Okay, how about this? Okay, all right, let me go back to punishment. Okay, if we go to the punishment primary and secondary, what kind of punishment is primary? Huh? Starvation. Oh, that's primary. Okay. How about secondary? Secondary is you you need to then call that's called punishment. Job loss. Huh? Losing your job. Yeah. Right? You need to learn to say, oh, that's punishment. Right? So sometimes, for example, I don't know if I should say this in my video. 
you, you see this, right? <laughs> right? For the first time when I drive in America, and then because I drive too slow, and then saw a driver poke, poke out the finger to me, okay, pass by me, and I'm just keep driving. And my kids, Ma! I said, What? You see the finger? Yeah? What's that mean? I have no idea. Okay, this, that guy is angry because you drive too slow. Okay, that for me is secondary. I have no idea. I don't get, I don't feel hurt. So sometimes it's good to have no idea. So, you know, if you, if, you know, I'm in America, right? Sometimes you have some language they are so bad, but I don't know the words yet. I feel so easy. I have no idea. The trouble is once I know more, then I start to feel hurt. So sometimes don't know it's better, right? That's why little kids so happy they don't know that much, right? Okay, so primary and secondary. Now, another thing you need to distinguish is about positive and negative. Okay, they both reinforcement, but one we call positive, one we call negative. Okay, what, what's different this? What's positive, positive reinforcement? What is mean? Remember when you say reinforcement, the all purpose is you want the behavior to increase. Either do positive or do neg negative. Yes? Um, yes? So a positive reinforcement would be, it'd be equal to saying like, oh, hey, I'm going to study for this exam, and because of that, you got a good grade. That's a positive reinforcement because you studied to get the good grade. But a negative one would be like, you're doing something to prevent something. Um, so a good example is maybe you just broke up with your significant other, and you know, maybe go to the same school as them. So you're going to like, hey, I'm going to go down this route instead of going down this street to avoid them because they live down there. So it's just kind of like doing something to so you say positive is you're doing something to get something, and then negative is to you prevent something. So you, you get something by preventing. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a very good example. Anybody? Anybody? Something that comes from positive and something is avoided. Yeah. So it's positive, actually, you get, you get something to do something. Right? So for example, you're a teacher. You say, if you come to class, then you don't need to do assignment. Right? You, so then if you don't come to class, right? So the teacher just want you to go to class, right? So when you see positive,